You know, I have to tell you, and I'm not trying to brown nose anybody, <laughs> it makes me damn proud to be a resident of this state when you have public servants like these two. We're going to have a chance to uh, ask a lot of questions in a few minutes. We'll take a five minute break in a, in a second. But I want to note a couple things that are really interesting. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, led by Mike Leith, who's here, uh, we took 30 people to Israel uh, to look at their innovation districts. And uh, we were pretty overwhelmed by what we found. Uh, here's a country that is not much larger than Massachusetts, with a landmass not much larger than New Jersey. And yet, um, it has, I think, something like the second largest number of patents of any country in the world. Until China overtook them, they were number two in terms of the number of firms listed on NASDAQ. This is a little country. Uh, and we we're very excited to see how they were putting in place a lot of policies that we're trying to mimic. And um, it's very exciting to see some of those things. These two gentlemen have also been responsible for doing some extraordinary things over the last uh, couple years with the governor and with the legislature. I've been very proud to work with Greg and his staff on helping nurture something called the Massachusetts Growth Capital Corporation, which is now up and running, uh, which is going to help nurture uh, uh, small companies to grow larger and to expand their operations and bring jobs here. Not only by helping them with some of their capital needs, but very importantly for the first time, really giving uh, significant amounts of technical assistance. So you've got a great entrepreneur who may not be the best in double entry bookkeeping, but we're going to take care of that problem. Uh, in terms of uh, administration and finance, um, one of the major problems that we've had is that uh, it's a good news, bad news story. We get a lot of our revenue in good years from capital gains. Um, we have a lot of wealthy people here who are invested well. Uh, but when uh, the economy goes south and the stock market collapses, those capital gains and incomes and revenue fall very dramatically. Um, in the past, we've tended to use capital gains revenue in the same way we use sales tax revenue or income tax revenue, which comes in in a much more steady. Uh, under this governor and under this secretary and his predecessor, um, they are taking a look at how capital gains can be used and how some of it should be set aside as automatically as part of the rainy day fund to smooth that out over time so we don't get this you know great windfalls in the really good years and then find ourselves find having to cut dramatically. Um, there are a lot of questions I have uh, of our two gentlemen uh, but I'll wait until after we take a five minute break. Why don't we just take a quick break? Let's be back here in five minutes. Start our Q and A. Thank you very much.